Hi guys, uh, just an update on my van really, a year on from sort of last doing my last video. I uh, thought I'd post another one for what sort of bits I've put on to my uh, T4. I've spent an absolute fortune again. Um, the first thing I noticed after doing my last video, about six months after that, when we sort of went through the winter, I was getting sort of rust mainly on the near side at the bottom and around the petrol cap was coming through. So I decided to have the bottom end painted and at the same time, if you can see now, the bumpers have been colour coded in as well. I did like it with black bumpers, but I thought whilst he's there doing all the bits, I thought I'd give it a little change. Around it. So if you see in my last video, I put these little new headlights on the back just to freshen it up a little bit really new fog lights I have got some new wheels to go on it I'll show you them shortly I think on this lockdown I've been really bored <laughs> like everyone else buying loads off of eBay and whatnot and I've also done the clear indicators on the front there so I just modify it up a little bit um, one thing I noticed when I'm sleeping in is I keep getting condensation so I have decided to buy these uh, Team Heco uh, wind deflectors and obviously I can have the, the windows down a little bit without getting wet if it rains and um, they work really well I was quite impressed with them I just got them off eBay they're about 25 quid in the front exactly the same as before I found a nice little mat I think it was about 30 pounds goes right across the cab makes it a little bit more cozy one thing I have done with the van inside in my last video I said I wasn't gonna fit a cooker or a hob my friend turns out and bought he liked my van so much he's gone and brought a T4 as well uh, we went away on it and I must admit in the morning he's got his kettle on making himself a cup of tea and I was well jealous at the fact I had to go outside under my tailgate to put my kettle on so I brought this uh, Dometic uh, sinking hob I'll open that up for you there. Uh, I didn't want it, nothing too massive in here, so you can see it's got the uh, tap, which I've now connected all up. Now I've got, now I've got the running water. It's got a little drainer, which is quite cool, and you lift that off, and your single gas burner's there, and that's all going as well now. I've got the gas bottle under the seat out the way under this seat here actually because I'm just going to try and keep this cupboard as free as possible the trouble is you're so limited with space so I've got my 20 litre water supply there and just some little containers I brought you know to make use of that storage I think that's one thing I'm finding hard in the van is finding a home for everywhere I put that little surfboard up I don't think that was on my last video though I, I wouldn't go surfing <laughs> Um, but that's basically it. My fridge, I had some problems with. Um, kept getting an amber light coming on and it, it wouldn't hold its temperature. So I sent it back and they've replaced it with a new one. But I was a bit gutted that, you know, it was £550 and it sort of like, I've used it about four times and it broke. And I, it's quite worrying when you're sort of spending that sort of money. I've also... Uh, stuck one of these Chinese heaters in the diesel heaters the control panel up there um, it was 95 pounds off eBay um, I'll show it you so as you can see it's uh, down there um, we put a normal jerry can in there with a the little adapter on the reason we done that's the one you get with it. it's huge and it's just too big so with the jerry can i lift it out fill it out on the ground put it back in um it's all right it's got they've got a bit of a noisy fuel pump sounds like jumanji knocking <laughs> wanting to come out but for 95 pound when it's a freezing night it's uh, a godsend really I must admit, another little nifty thing I saw was these little uh, organisers that go on the back of your seats. 
Uh, I went on eBay. There's one on the other side. Obviously, it's a bit cramped there. But, you know, for putting your wet wipes in, sun cream if you're out in the van, etc. Um, they were like £9 for two with free delivery. I thought, you know, it's quite a good space-saving thing. And my chairs do spin. And as you can see, the toys don't get in the way of the chair spinning. So it's quite good. I thought, you know, if you're looking for little bits, you know, of space where you can... I have got this van booked in for the roof to be done. Um, I'm going to have the elevating roof with the uh, bed in the roof as well. But it, um, Spectrum Interiors, Bromsgrove. But obviously, with the lockdown, I was meant to have it done on the 15th of May. So I'm hoping, I, I've spoken to him, and the roof company are now running. So hopefully soon, I'll have my roof done. And once I've had that done, I'll update you and show you what I've I'm going to do and what my plans are with the van. I want to make it sort of off grid I've sort of got this idea of you know being able to go away um, in it you know and just pull up anywhere and not worry about having an electric hookup and things like that I have got a 110 one amp uh, leisure battery in there um, and obviously I can run my fridge and whatnot but I've just brought a solar panel um, it's a 150 watt solar panel complete kit with all the wiring um, the the uh, unit goes on the wall you know the reader um everything and it was 195 it's quite big i think it's 1.5 1500 mil long and i think it's about i don't know 55 maybe centimeters wide uh, at a guess without looking at it but i want that up on the roof obviously um on the elevating roof it's going to go up there uh and then that a 150 watt would uh, power my fridge quite easily you know in the daytime i won't have to worry about my leisure battery dropping and then keep when i'm away in it keep the uh, you know the fridge running um obviously tv there as well i've got an inverter for the tv uh so you know it's little things but i think if i it's free energy and for 195 pounds i thought why not um not sure i like the look of them but it serves a purpose um what else have I done to it? I um, yeah, I've got the roof. Ah, oh, I've bought a FEMA awning to go on, a FEMA 35 awning, uh, Pro, the two two point seven one. So it's quite quite wide. Um, I'm gonna get the roof company to fit that for me when they fit the roof. I thought get it all done at once. So they're gonna do the solar panel for me. Uh, fit the roof, the solar panel, and the uh, FEMA awning to go on there. I think that was about 400, 400 pounds. And then you have to bowl the bloody brackets with it and whatnot. It was getting quite pricey. But I thought if the roof's done and you're going away, um, we're hoping to go to Spain this year, and it, um, I think around July, end of July. But we're not sure, obviously, with this lockdown, if it's going to happen or not. But if it does, obviously, I'll post some more videos of that road trip. We're going to go right down. We like, we like Benidorm and things like that. So I like the idea of driving it. And we're going to do four weeks. So hopefully we're going to be able to do it. Um, I'll show you my wheels, what I've got for it. I've got some 18-inch. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I'll show you now. So these are like a gold with the uh, chrome lip, and I got them from LK Performance. They're 18 inch, I think they're called Aspiry CSR1D, a real strange name. That's why I've got to write it down to really remember what they're called. But uh, I thought I'd just go with a little change on the van. The so tyres are getting a bit low on them now anyway, and uh, I thought with all of what I'm putting into it, I thought I'd get a nice set of wheels. These were, I think, £940. That's with delivery and you get the wheel nuts and I've got the locking nuts with it as well. But there was a free delivery with LK Performance. Tyres fitted on them, so they're ready to go. I just don't want to put them on yet until all the jobs are done in the workshop. You know, things like the uh, roof and that. I've also got the cam belt being done this week. Um, that's probably costing me £400. The cam belt and water pump but i thought if i'm going to spain i want everything right so preventive maintenance uh this is like the solar panel kit give you an idea of how big the panel is in the box there my missus is going mad with all the stuff i've got floating around for the van 
I've turned the house into a tip, <laughs> like a dumping ground. Then, then in my dining room, this is the theme we're all in. I brought, I had to buy some tie downs for it. I bought these little brackets, what you know, hold it together if it's windy. And even the roof kit, just the brackets were about seventy pound. Absolute fortune on it. But I'm quite looking forward to it, you know, seeing it all on. I think when the, you know the finished article comes, I'll put another video on and sort of show you what it looks like with the wheels on and the roof up and whatnot. It's quite exciting. I must admit, I should have bloody brought a brand new one. I think. <laughs> Wonder what this black thing is. That's a toilet we brought for it. So yeah, little porta potty, just from go outdoors. When we, I don't take it with me all the time, but when we go away, I take it. Uh, I think it was seventy-nine pounds, twenty, twenty liter porta potty. Ideal. Don't get caught short. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll try and keep you updated with my progress on my van. Thanks for watching. Bye.